What's going on guys? So we are back from our day off. I'm ready to do some shoulders and arms. Um, we're going to pop it on this real quick. Um, I think, believe I'm going to double check, but I believe this is my week three of this. So that means that next week I'm going to switch into not a new phase, but it's just adding additional workouts. Um, the equivalent of uh, phase two on P90X. Uh, we're going to switch those out for another three weeks and then after that we'll start phase three of P90X2, which is most of the uh, PAP workouts. can't remember the acronym, but um, that's what we're doing. I've been wanting, I, you know, there's always mixed reviews on things. And um, one thing that people say help, other people say don't, are BCAAs. And so just for kicks and giggles, I said, screw it, I'm going to try them out. So, have some BCAAs. That's not the brand. <laughs> um, Let's just hope this is not a fancy Kool-Aid. So I'm going to try this for um, only the, the actual lifting days, um, any of the resistance days. And um, yeah, so let's just hope this is not a fancy Kool-Aid. So we're going to be doing that up until the container runs out. And then at that point, I'll assess whether or not this is beneficial, at least to me. And then I'll you know, forward that over to you guys. I'll, uh, I'll get into specifics about the brand and all that good stuff, uh, maybe in a couple days. But uh, besides that, we're gonna pop it on this bad boy. I'll be sipping on this throughout the workout. And uh, yeah, that's it. See you in a little bit. Oh yeah, forgot to give you guys a taste test. So the one downside about this stuff is it doesn't seem like it mixes very well. Um, kind of like the creatine, it, does, it, it doesn't, at least the creatine I'm taking um, by Pro Labs doesn't mix very well. At the end, you still have a little bit of the, you know, salty looking sandy residue so this would be something I'll probably have to mix every, every so often have the fruit punch it's rather sweet <laughs> but besides that's not bad it's just a sweet kool-aid um I mean very water like so it's not thick like a whey or anything um but yeah let's get started What's going on guys? We just finished the workout. Really, really good workout. I found myself bumping up the weight today. Trying to do a continuous increase. So I was, you know, most of them I did about a five pound increase. I'm getting a lot stronger as, as far as keeping the weight stabilized, controlling the weight, and being able to really just manage the weight without swinging, doing the tapping, all that good stuff. I'm tired. Um, some of you are curious, I did drink the um, BCAA um, drink didn't finish yet, I did about half of it. It's actually overwhelmingly sweet. Now, that's from my viewpoint because I don't, I'm not a big fan of sweet things as I used to be. Um, it is a little too sweet for me. So I found myself doing about 12 ounces of water instead of doing the recommended 8 to 6. Still drank about half of it. So 
We'll see if we can get to it next time. I actually prefer just drinking water um, just because it just became too sweet for me. But, you know, whatever. And for some of you guys that have uh, tried the recovery drink um, and think that's sweet, this stuff tends to be sweeter than that. I can drink the recovery drink, I actually enjoy the recovery drink. And even if you go higher than 8 ounces with the recovery drink, you do 8, 12, it does water it down. This thing is just overwhelmingly sweet throughout, no matter what. So, um, I'll still continue to use it. Like I said, I'm going to use it through the life of the product. I might have to stretch out the usage a little longer, only because it is overwhelmingly sweet. But, uh, for the most part, great workout today. I should be pretty friggin' sore tomorrow. So we'll see you guys tomorrow for some yoga. Peace.